Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will use Cloud Formation to request an SSL certificate from AWS Certificate Manager. Once we've requested the certificate, we will validate that certificate in Route 53. To complete this lecture, make sure you already registered a domain name in Route 53. I already have a domain name registered in Route 53, and that is the domain name I will request the SSL certificate for. To show you the domain name in the Management Console, Type Route 53 in the search box and select Route 53 under Services. On the Route 53 dashboard, select Hosted Zone. In my Hosted Zone, this is the domain name I will request the SSL certificate for. So make sure you already have a domain name registered in Route 53. Another thing you should check is if you manually requested an SSL certificate for this domain name, make sure you delete that SSL certificate. For example, I'll go to the AWS Certificate Manager. In here, I'll type ACM and select Certificate Manager under Services. In the Certificate Manager console, I'll select this menu and select List Certificates. Here, you'll see that I don't have any SSL certificate in here. In this lecture, we will use Cloud Formation to request the SSL certificate for the domain name I showed you previously. To start, the first thing I want you to do is open your text editor. In this tutorial, I am using Visual Studio Code. Once you've opened your text editor, the next thing we will do is create a YAML file in here. To create the YAML file, select File and select New Text File. Before we start writing our syntax, the first thing we will do is save this file as a YAML format. To save this file as a YAML format, if you are using Visual Studio Code and you just open a new file, what I like to do is select language here and type the language I want to save it as. Here, I'll type YAML. Once you type YAML, you'll see it here, select it. An alternative thing you can do is you can select file and select save. Then browse to the location where you want to save the file. I'll save the file on my desktop, then give the file a name. For this tutorial, call the file ACM. Once you have given your file a name, under Save As Type, here you can select this drop down and make sure you select the YAML format. If you are not using Visual Studio Code, this is how you can select your file type. Once you've selected YAML, click Save. Once you've saved your file, up here you should see the name of your file .yaml. The next thing I want you to do is download and open the reference file I created for this lecture in this video's description. This is the reference file we will use to request the SSL certificate and validate that certificate in Route 53. And in this reference file, I have included the resource type and properties that we need. Next, copy everything in this reference file. I select Ctrl A to select everything. Right click to copy. Once you've copied the syntax, close the reference file. Then in your acm.yaml file, paste it in there. When you are creating a YAML format syntax, the indentation is very important. So make sure the syntax is indented properly when you paste it. To use Cloud Formation to request the SSL certificate in your syntax, first you start with the resources section. The resources section is the section we use to specify the type of resource we want to create in our AWS account. In this lecture, we are requesting an SSL certificate. Once you have specified the resources section, the next thing you will enter is your logical ID. And this is the name you are giving to this resource in your Cloud Formation template. You can call this name anything you want. And as you can see here, I called it AWS ACM certificate. Once you have specified the logical ID, the next thing you will enter is the resource type. The resource type comes straight from the Cloud Formation documentation. For example, if you want to use Cloud Formation to request an SSL certificate, this is the resource type to request an SSL certificate. Cloud Formation provides this to you and you can change it. Once you specify your resource type, which is how you tell Cloud Formation the type of resource you want to create, the next thing you will enter is the properties, and the properties are the configuration you want that resource to have. The first property we will enter is domain name. 
and this is the domain name we want to request the SSL certificate for. Remember I showed you that domain name in the management console. Let's go back to the management console. In the management console, type Route 53 in the search box. Select Route 53 under services. In your Route 53 dashboard, select hosted zone. In the hosted zone, this is the domain name I want to request the SSL certificate for. So what I'll do is I'll select it and copy it. Once you copy your domain name, go back to the CloudFormation template. In the CloudFormation template, under domain name, we'll paste the domain name in here. When you request an SSL certificate for your domain name in Certificate Manager, there are two ways you have to validate that the domain name belongs to you. The first is through email and the second is through DNS. In this lecture, we will use the DNS method. When you specify the DNS method, AWS Certificate Manager will give you a C name and you have to use the C name to create a record set in your Route 53 hosted zone. To use the C name to create a record set in the Route 53 hosted zone, we will use this property. The property is Domain Validation Options and the first option under this property is Domain Name. This is the domain name we want to create the record set in. We specified our domain name up here, so what you can do is copy this and paste it here. The next option we have to enter is Hosted Zone ID and this is the Hosted Zone ID of this domain name. To get the Hosted Zone ID of this domain name, let's go back to the Management Console. In your Hosted Zones, for your domain name, you will see the Hosted Zone ID of your domain name here. So what you want to do is copy this. Once you copy it, go back to your CloudFormation template. And under Hosted Zone ID, paste it there. The next property is Subject Alternative Names. And we use the Subject Alternative Names to request an SSL certificate for our subdomain name. For example, if you want to have something like name. The www is your subdomain name. In this example, we will also request an SSL certificate for our subdomain name. To request an SSL certificate for your subdomain name, all you have to do is enter double quotes, then a star, period, and paste your domain name after it. So I'll copy my domain name here and paste it here. This is all you need to do to request an SSL certificate for your subdomain name. The next property is validation method. And this is how we want to validate that the domain name belongs to us. Remember, there are two ways you can validate that a domain name belongs to you. The first option is by email and the second option is by DNS. In this example, we are using the DNS method. So here we will type DNS in all caps. This is all you need to do to create a CloudFormation template to request an SSL certificate from AWS Certificate Manager. The next thing we will do is save our file. I'll select File and select Save. Once you've saved your file, let's go to the Management Console to launch this template. In the Management Console, type CloudFormation in the search box. Then select CloudFormation under Services. In the CloudFormation console, click Create Stack. To create the CloudFormation stack, for Prepare Template, we will select Template is ready. Under Template Source, we will select Upload a Template File. Then click Choose File. Browse to the location where you saved your CloudFormation template. I saved my CloudFormation template on my desktop and this is it here. I'll select it and click Open. Once you open the template, click Next. On this section, give your CloudFormation stack a name. I'll call it ACM. Once you've given your stack a name, click Next. On this page, we will leave everything as default. Under Stack Failure Options, I always select Preserve Successfully Provisioned Resources. 
The reason why I always select this option is to preserve the resources that are already created. So if anything fails in my template, I can see where that failure is. So once you select this option, scroll down, click next. And that's all we need to do on this page. Scroll down and click create stack. There you go. We are creating the CloudFormation stack and this stack is going to request an SSL certificate from AWS Certificate Manager. The next thing you can click is the refresh button and under the events tab, it will show you the events going on. So right now it is still creating the resources. We'll give it some time to finish creating it. While you are waiting for the resources to be created, continue to click the refresh button every now and then. After waiting some time, the CloudFormation stack has been created. The next thing we need to do is go into AWS Certificate Manager to check whether our certificate is there. To go into the AWS Certificate Manager, right click on the AWS logo here and select Open Link in New tab. Then go to that tab. In the search box, type ACM and select Certificate Manager under Services. On the Certificate Manager console, select this menu here and select List Certificates. And there you go. You can see our certificate we just requested is here. If you select the certificate, under Domains, these are the domain name we requested the certificate for. And this is the C name we used to validate that this domain name belongs to us. Take note of this C name. The next thing we need to do is go into Route 53 to verify that the record for this C name is there. So next, type Route 53 in the search box and select Route 53 under Services. In your Route 53 dashboard, select Hosted Zone. Then select your domain name. In the Hosted Zone, under the Records tab, this is the C name and you can see the value here. It says ACM Validation AWS. Now that we have verified the resources, the next thing we will do is delete the stack. To delete your stack, I'll go back to the CloudFormation stack, select the stack and select Delete. Then select Delete Stack. When you delete the stack, it will delete all the resources CloudFormation created in your AWS account. Next, click the refresh button here. And if you give it some time, it will delete all the resources CloudFormation created in your AWS account. Even though CloudFormation will delete all the resources it created in your account, one thing I want you to know is CloudFormation will not delete the record set that it created in Route 53. If you need to launch this CloudFormation stack again, you don't have to delete this record set. CloudFormation will use the same record set. But this is something I want you to note. The CloudFormation stack has been deleted, but in Route 53, the C name is still there. If you are trying to clean up everything, all you have to do is select this C name and select Delete Record. Then click Delete. This is how we use CloudFormation to request an SSL certificate from AWS Certificate Manager. If you have any questions or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.